Use cases for large language models like GPT-3. Just a few days ago, there was an old man yelling at a cloud. We've recreated him here using AI, AI avatar, and an AI voice. Actually, it's Noam Chomsky. First, we should ask the question whether large language models have achieved anything, anything in this domain. Answer, no, they have achieved zero. He sounds pretty angry. Uh, for me, this really drives the point home that we have to be careful about who we listen to and what we listen to of their content. Here's a better person to listen to. This is the CEO of Aleph Alpha. Some of his team were involved or linked to OpenAI, recreated GPT-2, uh, did a lot of big stuff. He says, large language models can solve every problem that can be expressed with language. I think I prefer that quote as more realistic. Let's have a look at some use cases of large language models and AI today. So this is all as of July, 2022. Number one, in the field of robotics, this actually happened a few days ago, Google Robotics expanded how they're feeding their robots with transformers and they fed it with the entirety of GPT-3, the 175 billion parameter model, the Da Vinci model, and here it's finding a soda. There are other examples where it is driving around and finding landmarks based on its natural language processing via GPT-3, incredible stuff. Number two, literature, writing books. And you know that I carry around these copies with me. This first one, Pharmaco AI, written by GPT-3 with one of the guys from Google AI. This second one, a comic book written by GPT-3 and then illustrated by VQGAN plus Clip. There are now hundreds of books written by different large language models. This one has just arrived in my lap and it's a fiction book for children and it's quite thick, written, co-authored with GPT-3. Leanne has done an amazing job with this one. And there are now hundreds of books written by GPT-3 and other large language models. To be clear, GPT-3 is not a chatbot. It's probably 1% of its capabilities, but it is a subset of its capabilities. So in the field of expertise across any industry, these chatbots are really taking the world by storm. You know that Replica now has over 20 million users, despite it using one of the smallest language models in the world, GPT-2, with just 1.5 billion parameters. Have a look at this one. AI21 just released it a few weeks ago. It's a model using Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's 27 years of data, including her opinions, media interviews, and public speeches, fine-tuned with AI21's Jurassic 178B model. Software development and writing code. This one has been explosive. If you look at something like OpenAI's Codex, which has been integrated into GitHub Copilot, they say 40% of newly written code is generated using Copilot and 1.2 million users have played around with it. Copilot is not the only kid on the block. There's also Salesforce CodeGen and Amazon is playing around with an AI as well. Number five, web search. Did you know that every time you enter in a Google search, it's using a transformer model. It's using BERT. They're moving to use MUM. We'll see how that goes. And if you use Bing, then you're also using the InfoXLM model or the MEB model. So it's 130 million users with Bing and installed on 3.2 billion devices for Chrome. Number six, for any industry, data cleansing. Now, whether that's cleaning up OCR text or reformatting addresses that have been written in plain English, or even formatting citations, like in one of my demo videos, cleaning text is a really good use case and it's really a lot better than regular expressions. Sometimes regex can't even do what some of these language models can do. Here I am playing with Megatron 11B and it is cleaning up some badly formatted OCR text and spitting out plain English. Number seven, professional services. And I've just chosen a little niche inside professional services and advisory risk management. Aligned with ISO 31000 and ISO 31010, I played around with OpenAI's Instruct GPT using the edit functionality. And here it will actually insert for us 
risk title causes, preventing controls, consequences, recovery controls, and even risk ratings. Number eight, again, for all industries, I'm under NDA for everything I do in consulting and advisory, but I can say very quietly that a lot of different enterprises and some educational institutions are using large language models to transcribe, format, and then summarize their meeting minutes, their classroom conversations, and send that out in a summary to people that care about it. Number nine, as soon as GPT-3 was released back in mid-2020, Paul Katzen went to town with implementing a GPT-3 function inside Google Sheets. This one is really, really interesting. I believe you can play with it yourself. It essentially does anything that large language models can do. So if we listen again to Aleph Alpha's CEO, it can solve any problem that can be solved using language. Number 10, the legal field. I've been approached by a number of different high profile cases in using large language models for discovery and more inside of this niche. I'm using GPT-3 here to convert from plain language into legal language, and you can do vice versa, of course. This is really useful for paralegals or really for anyone to play around with contracts, either converting what that contract says or writing plain language and putting it into a contract format. Number 11, in the writing field, editing. Grammarly today is used by 30 million users. I think that seems to be a lot of academics in there. But then you've got alternatives like WordTune by AI21 Labs again in Israel, used by 1 million users. There we go, there's a short and practical video because a few of our videos have been long and theoretical lately. GPT-3 is currently used by over 1 million registered subscribers and that's just one of maybe a hundred large language models that are around. There are a lot and they continue to outperform humans on several measures of intelligence like SAT testing and trivia. The new currency I think is gonna be imagination and even then, AI is going to help us out with its imagination. So we're going to be enhanced, augmented. Our capabilities are going to be up at prodigy level for everyone. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.